Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to do a what's in my bag. This is the medium Hattie, or some people just call it the Hattie, that I purchased during the Macy's free, free fall sale for 25% off. And I wanna show you what she could hold. There's a story behind her because at first I didn't like her and I brought her back. And I was thinking about her, thinking about her, and the next day I ran to Macy's and there was a big scratch on her they, because the sales ladies put her out because they have no stock of anything. They have a sports line, they have a couple of nylon bags, few lizard embossed, but basically that's it. So they were really happy to get her. So I told them, you cannot put this bag out like this because it's so delicate. And I went home and I thought about it and I called them back and I asked them if they would hold it for me. So instead of holding it for me, they shipped the same one back to me and I got it in two days. I believe that was a Friday and I got it Monday. So I was able to take my finger and rub out the scratch and I'll show you where it is, where it was actually. I hope you could see it. It is diagonal right here. There it is. But it blended in really nicely and this will just become the architecture of this bag because this is the nature of of the natural so let me show you what it holds i love it i'm not going to let it go again and i'm really glad to have it and one thing you should know about me is i return a lot i buy things i don't like it and then i think about it and i rebuy it again i do that often and I guess that's what happens when you get older. You just can't make up your mind. I do that very often. And all of the salespeople know me and they accept me for that. They're, they're really great with me. They are very patient with me and they never condemn me or anything. They're, they're very cool with me. So let me tell you what's in my bag. This is how it looks with the things that I have. I ordered a couple of accessories over the weekend and I would like to wait to see if they fit in here, but I really wanted to show everybody what's in my bag and explain what happened with the purchase of this bag. So taking the things out is the Slim Dooney and Burke wallet, Pebble wallet, my eyeglass case, and my eyeglasses are Clink from Denmark. I'm wearing them now because they're the only one. They make small for small faces. And all the other eyeglass companies had the frames too big for me. So it looked like I had ears coming out of the sides of my head. Then is this is the Dooney and Burke Greta wristlet. And here I have my keys because I would never use the key leash on a bag like this. I keep the key leash in a pocket so it doesn't mar the leather that's inside. Then there is my Coach makeup case and I'm expecting one very similar, only in Pebble from Dooney and Burke, but I haven't received it yet. And what's in here is, okay, there it goes. I buy Clinique Cosmetics this is their blush, it's called Honey Blush. It's a powder. This color. Try and put it on as light as possible because I don't wear face makeup, just a little blush. Eyeshadow, this is Vanilla Cream. This is Highlight by Clinique. Another eyeshadow, this is Foxy by Clinique. And this goes on the eyelid. Clinique Mascara. Clinique Automatic uh, Eyeliner Pencil. One is Soft Black or Black Zero One, I think it's called New Black. 
And this is called, this is like a taupe, it's called smoky brown. I put the black on the top and the brown on the bottom of my eye. And a MAC lipstick, which is called cream cup. Try to get things as light as possible. And then I have my coach pochette. I took the handles off. This was a wristlet, and also I have a dinky chain for it. And I use it as a pochette in bags sometimes. And in here I have a pick, a chapstick, I must have a chapstick, dental floss, and the Floxite mirror that I really rely on. It's 15 times magnification, it's lighted, and it has, goes many angles, so it's great to travel with. It's even great in the house. I have other makeup mirrors in the house, stationary ones, but this is great for me to travel with because I do a lot of traveling. So that's what's in my bag. I love this bag. It's not heavy, I believe. I don't remember, I didn't weigh it right now, but I believe the weight was 1.9 pounds. And it's just an awesome bag and I'm so happy to have it back and I'm keeping it. It takes me a while to make up my mind. When you guys get old, you'll see it happens to you too. This is how it looks. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for all your support and help. Thank you for s subscribing to my channel and very grateful to that our paths have, co have crossed. Have a good day guys. I love you and I look forward to the next video. Bye bye now. Take it easy. Bye bye.